Hey everyone, in this video, I'm going to show you how we can use dynamic component extension. Suppose you have the app, okay, and someone using your app and you have one button in that app and you want when someone click on that button. So I want to generate or want to create another button at a real time. So that's where we are dynamic component used. So let me show you how we can create and how we can use the dynamic component. So here we go. So I'm using an app inventor here. Okay. So click on the new project and my project name is dynamic component. Okay. Now here, what I'm going to do here, I'm going to do simple thing that once the people click on that button, so I need to generate one more button in my app. Okay. So how we can do this? So in the left side, we'll see the layout. So I'm going to just use here the vertical one like this. And I'm going to make that hide and with this fill parent like this. Now, once the people click on that button, so I'm going to just change that name to click me. Okay. So I'm going to generate another button here. So for that, I'm going to use here the dynamic component extension. Search your dynamic component in MIT App Inventor. Scroll down, you can see this is the website. I'm going to give you the link in the description. Okay, open this link and then just scroll down and don't go to here and just scroll down and you will see here the GitHub link. Just click on it and you can see the AIX file. Just download it. Done and allow. Then go to the app inventor here in the left side. You will see here the extension. Click on it, import extension and choose file. Now simply import that extension here and once you've done this, just drag and drop that extension here. Just close this and just drag and drop it like this. Done. Now let's go to the block. So how we can do this? So whenever someone click on button 1, okay, then click on dynamic component and you can see the option of create. We need to call this method. This. Now where I need to create this component? So in the vertical arrangement, I need to create it like this okay now component name which component i need to create so i want to create the button component so make sure the button name should be the correct like b u -T, t o n button and the id we need to define the id of every component so we all have the unique component right so i need to define the id is i'm going to just define it the one like this simple now let me just run it how this will work okay you can see I have this simple app. Let's click on the click me button. You can see this button is created. Done. Now I want to do something that there should be a name. Okay. So how can I do this? So I'm going to do one thing here. Let's click on dynamic component. Let's click on the button and set button name. You can see the set button text. This one. Okay. And just right click on that and make it generic. Okay. Like this. So off button, which component? Okay, so let's delete this button one. I know that button one I created. Okay, so click on dynamic component. You can see the get ID. You can see the option of ID, get component ID. Just call it here. And ID is one. Just copy this here. And two, I need to set this, right? So I need to set this as a button name is new button like this. Okay, I need to call this here. Simple. Let me just show you how this will work. Okay, let me just refresh it. And here, let's click on the click me. You can see the new button. Fantastic. Now, now I want to create the multiple buttons. So how can I do this? So for that, I need to assign the ID. Okay, every time. So what I will do here, go to the design. And I'm going to use here the one simple text box, suppose here. And here I'm going to define the ID. Go to the block. And uh, instead of one, what I'm going to do here, I'm going to just get text box one dot text value here like this. Okay. So, but here I need to define the name also. So I'm going to do one more thing here. So I'm going to just do text box and here I'm going to just define here the text box too. Like this. Got it. Let me just refresh it. Let me just run it again and just say seven ID and say hello. You can see done. Let me just change the ID as one, but hello, new. Let me done. So now we, we can generate the unlimited buttons. Okay. So this is a dynamic component. There are a lot of things you can generate. It's not just about the button. It can be, it can remove the button. It can generate the all component that defined here, like images, label, list view, notifier, everything that can generate. So thank you so much for watching this video. If you have any doubt, you can ask me to comment. Have a nice day. Be safe. Bye-bye.